If you thought dinosaurs are big, just wait. There are a lot more that may have been bigger. It's true. There's some of them that are even still alive today, and some of them were just after the dinosaurs, but either way, these animals definitely gave dinosaurs a run for their money. Anyways, guess what our list is about? My name is Rachel Fisher. And I am Dewey Stewart, and today we are looking at the top 10 animals that make dinosaurs look small. Welcome back to Bumblebee, and let's get started. Starting us off at number 10, and an animal I only wish I would have been alive to see is a human-sized penguin. Back in 2019, the remains of what can only be described as a giant penguin were discovered in New Zealand by paleontologists. The fossilized bones of the animal indicate that this giant penguin reached a height of approximately 5 foot 3 inches and weighed in around 176 pounds. That's about 80 kilograms. That's a big mother freaking penguin. These large creatures lived in the Paleocene Epoch around 56 to 66 million years ago. They were specific to the waters of the southern hemisphere, and it is said that they grew to be this large after the disappearance of large marine reptiles along with the dinosaurs, indicating that these penguins were able to survive and thrive, becoming much larger over time. The largest penguin on Earth today is the emperor penguin, measuring around 3.9 feet. If those penguins are called emperor, then I think I'm gonna call these guys mega emperor penguins. Number nine, terror birds. Pretty much sums it up, but I'll fill in the facts for you. The forest rakos were one of the largest birds to ever exist on the earth, and they certainly lived up to their street name. Once T Rexes were extinct, these massive and deadly creatures stole the crown. Their jaws were so strong, they could sever the spine of a large horse in one bite. They roam South America, and though scientists have a spare few ideas as to how they actually behaved, they are comparable to a velociraptor, except taller. Their height ranged from 3 to 10 feet tall, but also like the Velociraptor, they could not fly, which was fine with any prey that were able to get out of their reach. Their supremacy as emperor predators lasted for about 60 million years until they mysteriously faded out 2.5 million years ago. No one quite knows why as of yet. Could it have been the environment that became their biggest nemesis? I guess we'll never know. And number 8, we have the Pelagornis sanzi. 30 million years ago, our cute little trips to the beach wouldn't have been so cute. We would not only have to put up with seagulls, we would have to put up with the much larger ancestor, the Pelagornis sanzi. Back in 1983, in South Carolina, the first fossil of this massive extinct bird was discovered when construction crews began the expansion of the Charleston International Airport. This bird had a wingspan of up to 24 feet. That's almost seven and a half meters. If the sheer size of this animal wasn't enough to scare you, you'll be happy to know that it had a mouth filled with suedo teeth making it easy to devour its prey. Based on bone structures, scientists are fairly certain that this bird did fly, although they are not sure. Once a bird reaches a certain size and weight, it becomes much more difficult for it to fly without needing extra energy and power. But scientists believe these birds could have also used their wings to glide as well as catch the ocean winds to keep themselves airborne. Seagulls are annoying enough. Imagine a giant one that could also eat you. I would be intimidated, but if they also did that dumb, stupid, like, seagull laugh, uh -huh. I don't think I'd be able to hold it together. Number seven, hail pigs. I know, it sounds like a biker gang. But once I tell you more about this creature, you'll understand the name. The Daedon is an extinct genus of massive killer pig that existed 29 to 19 million years ago, occupying North America after the dinosaurs bit the dust. They weren't picky eaters, which meant they would eat anything and everything in their path, regardless of size. Imagine a pig standing six feet tall and 12 feet long, weighing 2,000 pounds with razor blades for teeth. Its head alone measured three feet and could take on even the most ferocious predators. Scientists aren't quite sure as to why they went extinct, but we are certainly glad they did. Otherwise, we might have been their prey, not the other way around. At our number six spot, we have the Goliath beetle. Now, this doesn't really make dinosaurs look small, but this is the closest thing that is still alive that resembles the size of insects back in the prehistoric times. Also, we couldn't let Dewey get away with just one video that didn't involve massive skin crawling bugs, right? The Goliath beetle is the heaviest insect currently on Earth, weighing in at around 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. They can grow to lengths of 11.5 centimeters. That's 4.5 inches. These beetles are native to tropical regions of Africa and feed on plant sap and fruit. These things move extremely slow and are fairly easy to catch, if interested, I'm not. But please, just let them be and keep them far away from me. I watched a video on YouTube while researching and some guy let this thing crawl all the way up his arm. <laughs> are you crazy? Number five, the super croc. 
Imagine a creature that can make the crocodiles you've seen look like geckos. The Purosaurus was one of the largest crocodile relatives to ever exist. How big could it get? Well, about double the size of crocodiles today, so around 35 to 40 feet and weighed three tons on average. Yeah. The colossal creature terrorized the waters of South America around 8 million years ago. An interesting fact about this guy though is that unlike a lot of its relatives, it was actually an omnivore, meaning that it didn't just feed on fish but also vegetation. So the real moral of the story is that if you want to grow big and strong kids, remember to eat your vegetables. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have the sperm whale. Hey Rachel, you know what I can do? What? Speak whale. Oh, oh. The sperm whale is one of the largest mammals on earth and actually also have the largest brains on earth. These aquatic creatures can grow in sizes from 49 to 59 feet in length. That's just under 18 meters. And can weigh up to 35 to 45 tons. That's a big fish. The whales also have a substance known as spermaceti in their heads that scientists don't fully understand the purpose of yet. Some believe that it actually assists the whale with its buoyancy. You know, it's uh, <laughs> floatiness. They are also quite the deep divers and can reach depths of 3,280 feet by holding their breath for up to 90 minutes. At those depths, they search for squid and other delicious seafood prey. And the bigger, the better, because it takes a lot to feed these things. They have been known to eat about one ton of food a day. <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. Number three is a name I could actually say. Colossal Squid. It should be no surprise to you given its name that this creature has made it onto this list. I mean, its name alone depicts a massive creature. You don't get called Colossal for nothing. Thankfully, this creature doesn't roam any beaches, but instead prefers the dark, cold recesses of the Antarctic waters. Weighing in at over one thousand pounds, the colossal squid can grow to an immense size of 46 feet, right? With eight tentacles and two arms, each equipped with sharp hooks designed to latch onto their prey. And they also kind of rotate on their suckers. Weird, right? So even if you try to get it out of it, it's like, uh, that's exactly what fish do down there, I guess. They can consume fish as large as seven feet and have even been known to attack sperm whales. Whoa, as some have been found with scarring matching the colossal squid. Okay, so I know that there have been dinosaurs bigger than this one, but it's still pretty massive and it's very real and they do exist and um, they're coming to get you. Coming in at our number two spot is quite possibly one of the scariest animals to have ever lived on planet Earth, the Megalodon shark. We're gonna need a bigger boat. These sharks lived during the early Miocene epoch to the end of the Pliocene epoch about 23 to 2.5 million years ago. The Megalodon, made up of compound Greek root words, translates to giant tooth when boy oh boy did these things have giant teeth. The Megalodon female could reach sizes up to 58.7 feet, or approximately 18 meters, and the males could reach sizes of up to 47 feet, which is approximately 14 and a half meters. Female sharks could reach weights up to 143,000 pounds, which is about 65,000 kilograms. These are the largest fish we have ever known. In case it wasn't obvious and you were wondering, yeah, these massive beasts had quite the nasty bite. Its bite diameter was about 3 meters. Needless to say, they were at the top of their food chain, which is probably why they lived for almost 20 million years. Sadly, the closest thing you can get to seeing a megalodon shark these days are the bones in museums or to watch the Meg, starring Jason Statham. Warning, the CGI is bad. Number one, the blue whale. And finally, in our last corner, ringing in at 200 tons, measuring 82 to 105 feet in size, we have the one, the only, the blue whale. Blue whales are the biggest animals ever known to exist on Earth, bigger than any dinosaurs we have currently uncovered. Its heart alone weighs 400 pounds, and its arteries could be big enough for a small child to swim through, and it only beats around twice a minute versus our 60 to 100 beats per minute, which is insane. Despite being carnivores, and unless you get caught in the way like that man in Massachusetts this year, they are also gentle giants. They mainly feed on krill, which seems like a pretty small fish to satisfy such a massive creature, though maybe one of the reasons they get so big. But you may hear them before you see them, as their kips and calls can be heard from a thousand miles away. Comparatively, a jet engine registers at 140 decibels, while a blue whale is closer to 188. Imagine being next to that when it just calls out to its friend. Nothing like Dory in Finding Nemo. 
Blue whales are currently on the endangered species list due to extensive whaling in the 1900s, collisions with ships, and garbage debris in the ocean. So hopefully we fix that problem before we lose the most amazing creature on this planet. Anyway, that has been our top 10 animals that make dinosaurs look small. And I actually love that you put a blue whale at number one because yeah. it's one of my favorite animals. They're so cool and I just want to swim beside them and just be like, hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> anyway guys, that was our top 10 list of animals that make dinosaurs look small. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher. And I've been your host, Dewey Stewart, and we will see you all back here very, very soon. And until next time, buzz, buzz off. off.